Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video. If you are level 15 or below, make sure to use the promo code Starco to get a free starter pack. To do so, it is pretty simple. You go in the settings, use a promo code and you enter the code Starco, S-T-A-R-K-O, you press OK and you will receive a free starter pack giving you a um, little package value of about $10, which I actually include paid currency so guys today we're going to talk about one of the half pig that apparently i did not do a video about yet uh, which is going to be ambu and lens guys or you can call it ambulance uh, <laughs> yeah the game of war is actually i, I kind of like it here but anyway guys the healer ambulance uh, the only healer uh, half pig we have so far in the game so i'm going to talk about uh these guys yeah these I, I hate that they're actually two characters it's so misleading for me when i actually try to make a character spotlight but anyway guys uh we're going to be talking about the, these guys uh the skills runes stats and artifact what's very very important for uh this uh these characters guys so first we're going to start with the skills uh, we're going to start with the passive ability go down to the uh basic ability we're going to talk about which skill actually need to be level up to level seven obviously so uh, first skill we have the rich soup which is actually the passive ability alloy lanes and lens uh Embu and lance wow i murdered that name guys sorry gained 13 percent the damage increase for every generate regeneration on them so if they have a lot of stack of regeneration on them they are going to be doing a lot of damage which is why you see in the runes here we're going to talk about that later but this is why you see two critical chance runes uh, there because if you get a lot of stack of regeneration on yourself with a big critical hit you're going to be doing uh quite a good amount of damage so that can actually be very useful uh, at the end of the turn embryo and lance gain two regenerate stack uh, regeneration stacks for three turn and additional one stack if uh, keb and bab are in the party which they are not actually released uh, at the start of the turn if the allies have four or more stack of her generation on them embu and lanes gain oink otherwise lose oink uh, Ankh, I guess they're gonna explain it in the other skills, but that is pretty much what these characters do. So the more stack of regeneration you have out on you or on the other allies is gonna be uh, the better for your ambient lens. And obviously, when we get Keb and bar or bab or whatever they call him uh release that's actually going to create the synergy with ambulance that will actually be uh much 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 better for this characters i do not like the way they've been releasing the half big and dwarfs to be honest guys releasing one characters without the synergy characters actually uh keep us from seeing the real value of the character so i just want you to keep that in mind uh when you actually you know watch this character uh, spotlight or try the character out keep in mind guys that until is synergy characters is out um we are gonna have no idea uh what's the optimal performance that this characters can actually have and next guys we have the third skill emergency seconds apply armor increase and tenacity increase to all allies for two turns oink remove all regeneration stack from the allies apply apply shield equal to 20 percent of the ally maximum health for every stack remove no oink ambulance lance restore 90 percent of their turn meter no oink it's actually kind of suck it kind of suck but with oink uh actually do a, a big big fat healing and by the way guys we forgot to uh talk about ability level seven here uh obviously uh ability level seven is great here if you get it there but i think this passive ability at level six definitely do the job you get 10 percent damage increase per stack of regeneration instead of 13 percent and your regeneration last two turns instead of three turns i don't think that is actually game changer that level seven but uh, so level six ability on this skill is gonna be my recommended level on this one um i honestly i'll go with level six again i don't think the five percent shields five percent chance shield really matters in the 15 percent turn meter uh don't really matter it's going to be 75 percent instead of 90 percent i'm totally fine with that and applying a shield of 15 percent uh, of the ally maximum health for every stack remove is it's good enough you don't actually need that 20 percent obviously 20 percent is going to be better but i think that other skill is going to be more important to get to level seven so 
the passive and third skill level six is totally fine then we go with the second skills healing slop uh, healing all allies by 430 percent of ambu and lands magical damage remove all stack of regeneration from ambu and lands and the distribute them among allies uh, starting with allies with the lowest health if you have oink restore 30 percent turn meter to all ally half pig and apply ace to all ally with two stacks of regeneration for two turns and no oink apply regeneration to all allies for two turns so uh, an awesome kit this ability that you have oink or no oink it's going to be an outstanding ability it's going to do uh, a great job for uh, the whole party that you have oink or you don't have oink which is going to be awesome if you actually remove uh but the ability to level six you lose a lot you're going to lose 70 percent healing which is game changer 10 percent turn meter uh when you only have a 30 percent turn meter at level seven that is a huge drop and the regeneration lasting uh three turns instead of two on the aoe wise i think that's going to be game changer for this ability you want to have it at level seven and then the basic ability here uh, hug trick deal 250 percent of magic damage to an enemy and inflict armor decrease for uh three turns if you actually get that to a uh, level six uh armor decrease for two turns instead of three turns you lose 40 percent damage so ability level six here is uh it's totally fine and then ability number five will actually be great because you will not be focusing potency on this character anyway um because you don't use basic ability often enough to actually may award it so this one's gonna even be ability level five so let's just say ability level six so the only abilities that's actually really important to get to level seven on ambulance lens is actually the second skill now we're going to be jumping into uh, the runes we're going to explain their choice too so guys runes we're going to be going with four speed and two critical chance we want to have ambient lens as fast as possible so you can apply those regeneration stacks as fast as possible uh, increase the uh, turn meter of himself or the allies as as often as possible this is what's going to be important so here you can see we have 250 speed uh, obviously we have pretty solid runes uh, a regular player should have over 225 speed that will be my recommended here uh, obviously you want to get that potency up with that armor decrease from the basic ability but you don't want to put too much into potency because it's only for one skill while other skills going to be uh, benefit you a little bit more uh, and then you want to go uh, with critical chance as much as possible because uh, critical chance to pair with the passive ability that increase your damage per stack of regeneration uh, on ambient lens uh, you pair that with critical chance and when you critical it you're going to be doing a lot of damage with ambient lens so that's actually going to be uh, pretty awesome you're going to get more uh, regeneration when the synergy character gets released for ambient lens so i think that critical chance damage and uh, speed is going to be the three most important stats for this characters as you can see here we're running with critical chance speed damage uh, second second uh, we are running with only critical chance that's actually a pretty terrible rune here but 30 speed is actually quite useful here we have 15 speed that's where we went with this one a little bit of tenacity which is always great uh, here we have critical chance primary with speed damage and damage that's actually a pretty awesome rune uh, here we have 13 speed with critical chance critical chance is always nice and then here we have a potency with uh, tenacity speed and critical chance so you can see the pattern here you want as much damage critical chances and speed as possible if you can if you can add uh, potency along the way that's all always great but uh, the rest of the stats is more important than potency if we actually take a look at the artifact we're going to be doing a going with the artifact of critical chance and shield uh, it's pretty much just a critical chance we were interested in here you could also go a totally different route and just go damage with tenacity that could actually get the job done too so uh, artifact is really depending on the, what you actually want to do uh, damage and tenacity to increase your tenacity increase your uh, your healing is great or you can go with critical chance with whatever else with it to actually increase the damage you're going to be doing if you want this characters to do more damage now since we do not have the synergy of this characters we cannot see the true potential of this character we're not going to be doing any gameplay testing uh, this character is a healer so uh, 
pretty much the only testing could actually really be done uh, is not in arena because in arena you don't use a healer uh, it is not in uh in the raid because in the raid you don't really use a healer unless the healer does turn meter reduction although we have turn meter increase that could actually be uh, useful but uh before we actually have the synergy characters for this character uh, it is a hard to do real testing actually showcase the real damage and real healing of this character and it's actually a complaint i've awarded to uh, the dev team because i do think that when they release a character like a dwarf characters or a half big character the characters that's going to come the same month with the, that a specific character should be the synergy character and not a random characters from the other faction uh, i think that is actually a pretty bad uh, release uh, model uh, which I talk about and um, there was fair point made and uh, hopefully uh, we actually get to see that change you know have those two characters synergy together to get released together that way we could actually do a real character spotlight character review with testing how these characters work with the optimal setup now right now uh, the best team you can actually have for Embu and Lance is going to be big wall lead with a four half big which is Archie and Row, Embu and Lance Bar and Rel and uh, the other one i'm forgetting his name which is if we sort by half pig here uh sent anturion which is actually the defender so those four here you can see ambulance lance archie and rose sent anturion bar and rel with uh pig wall will be the best possible team uh for now but uh obviously there is a synergy characters that will be coming out for this one the character is called again Keb and Bab, uh, maybe this characters we have a le will have a leadership. We have no idea. We're gonna have to wait for this character to come out to actually see what is really the best team for Ambient Lens. But anyway, guys, this is what we have for today's uh, video. Hopefully, this will help you out in building your Ambient Lens properly. And also, guys, I want to mention Ambient Lens also has a decent plug and play potential. You can put him in any team in Battleground, and it's gonna be able. To to get uh, a lot out of your team so that's actually something that not a lot of healer have and that's actually uh, something that this character has so guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check the bell to get notified when our new content is released also make sure you join us on the discord server link is in the description and down below we host the uh, dragon's giveaway on the discord server so make sure you check that out and guys you all keep enjoying playing dragon champion i'll see you guys again in the next video thank you